Hi, Dougie Burt from Dougie Burt's Tackle World here with Stuart Grice. How are you going, Stuart? Yeah, good. How are you, Dougie, mate? Always good, as always. Fantastic. Uh, word for it. Fantastic. We are fantastic. <laughs> oh, are we? Well, yeah, I'm feeling fantastic. Hopefully the fishing we are. Yeah. And anyhow, <laughs> guys, uh, we're talking about this weekend, the 17th and 18th of September 2022. Only 10 days out to the Flavio Classics, Stuart. Yeah, it's rolling around very yeah. quickly. There's a lot of people f- frantically coming in, stocking up last minute. Not really last minute, but they're getting ready. And fish are on in the deep. But yeah. we're going to talk about that a bit later. Let's yeah. talk about offshore moments, Stuart. So, yeah. weather is terrible this weekend. You might get sun yeah. in the afternoon in, but Saturday is a no go. 30 knot northerlies, yep. supposedly. Yep. Um, which means ugly. Yep. Yep. And um, rain, thunderstorms, maybe. Uh, so, yeah, give it a miss, probably, guys. Um, sun in the afternoon, you might get it in, but. I'd be probably hanging off to about Wednesday next week. Looks like a change from the north to the south. Monday's a bit sort of semi okay. You might get up a quick yep. duck out to the 24s. There were a lot of snapper caught this week. There was a lot, a lot, lot of snapper. And good fish too. Yep. yep. Um, and uh, a lot of coves, a few coves. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's like they've had it's, another run. Well, it's just the whales are going back now. Yeah, so they're following yeah. them back. They're following them back, and the yep. whales are on a mission. There. So the cove are only. They're not here very often. Well, they are, but they, they're not hanging around like they were on the small way Small window. Yeah, small window. Yeah. yeah, so anyhow, um, the sample caught in the 24s, the 18s. Um, sort of inside the 50 metre mark is really good, big yep. fish. Yeah. Um, and out in the 36s wasn't too bad northeast. Yeah. A bit east as well. And the 50s northeast, there's a lot of snapper caught. So sea probe again, smacked them again. Rossi yep. did pretty well during the week. Yeah, he had well. a really good deep drop in mission. Um, oh, deep deep jig- well. jig- jigging, sorry. Deep jigging. Yeah, yeah so I was like, Kingies, I've uh, got a few barcode, a couple of flame stuff, a bit of everything. Mixed yeah, bag. Yeah. Yeah. So, and a lot of pearlies have been caught again this past week, so pearlies yeah. seem to be on a bit. Um, the current's running a little bit, as far as we know, out there, but with this northerly wind, it'll probably run a bit faster. Yeah. The dolphin fish are out there, the guys that are getting them. The, you know, I don't know what it is about fish, but whether it be. Flatties or dolphin fish or whatever yep. it is, mackerel, Spanish mackerel, same deal. Yeah. Um, at the start of it, we'll take the flatties out as close as we're talking out offshore. So mackerel and and now we're talking um, dolphin fish, a pelagic sea. So what happens is at the start of the season they always go harder on lures than they do on baits. Yeah, they do. And that the as the season progresses they switch, they switch from skirter lures or diving lures yep. to baits, baits, and they don't want to know about the lures as in reverse at the start of the season. So um, at the moment, it's going to lose. Yeah. Yep. So the guys that are going to have live slimies there and around the um, pads, they're getting, you know, they're getting the odd fish and not yeah. a little one on the cubed. But um, you troll skirts past and you'll catch probably... probably you, you get the reaction bite. Yeah. I think that Yeah, work. probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stirs them up a bit. Yeah. Anyhow, there's dolphin yeah. fish out there. And yeah. they're not bad size, around a metre. Okay. Yeah, they're bigger. Yeah. They're the biggest ones that we've seen in and about that, a year. They're all small. And extremely early. Very very, very early. early. Yeah. The water temps only 21 out there, so I, I don't know why they're here, but it's a good thing they're here. Yeah. Won't say no. Maybe it's going to be a long season. Let's just hope they're not on the list like the Spanish mackerel just were. Mm-hmm. My gosh, don't even go yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. We tried, okay. guys. We tried hard for you guys. We tried hard for us. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, we control the masses, I say. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, guys, um, apart from that, what has been happening? A few jewies offshore as well. Uh, day and night since a bit ago at the moment the moon just gone past so um, it's all around last week of the moon yep and um, a few fish um, uh, during the morning early on the uh, close reefs and the, the blocks as well yeah um, I heard odd things of the odds wahoo around believe it or not which is way out of te- con- context with talking yeah about. but um, they seem to be um, they're not biting they're just swimming around the boat sort of thing at certain areas, and that's that's the truth. Uh, marlin, I haven't heard much on the marlin scene. As Stu said, deep drop has been really good. That seems to be very good. It's the, the yeah. peak, the prime. Yeah, it was the month. The month, yeah. month. And the guys, this time of the month, September is when the spam crabs supposedly spawn. One of the spawns. So I do another one. Obviously, I have to close season. We won't mix it up too much because I'm going to cut them out in September as well. But <laughs> the crabs are big, okay? Yeah. Uh, they're really big. And uh, you get a few little ones amongst them, but what crabs do you get a good size? Uh, so yeah, go out there and get get them to those around that fifty meter mark of Q one and that area. Yep. Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, so Stewie, we'll move inshore now. Yeah. Uh, we'll go straight to the jumping pin. Straight to the jumping pin. We were up yep. there on Monday. We were. You smashed it. We did. I didn't. 
We actually <laughs> on Monday we fished the seaway where we fished down this okay, end and up there. Yeah, we did. But we, we we'll both. start up there anyway. Um, there's been a lot of flatties in the deep. Yeah. The deep waters, um, as a lot of people would know, they do definitely move into the deeper waters, so around the John Pin Bar or the Southport Seaway. Um, this time of year to spawn, yep. and they're getting ready. They're fat. Um, there's other, fat. other fish following them up, so um, it's only a matter of time until they do start doing whatever they do. Hmm. But um, yeah, they're feeding up hard. There's heaps of bait up there. There's a lot of fish up there. So we're referring to the deeps. So we're referring yeah. to them. so out the front of like um, Duck Creek. Just make sure you're not in the green zone, um, and you're not in the creek itself. So it's in the deeper water. Yep. Um, along the timber on the southern side of North Stratty over in the bar yep. and along Kalinga Bank. Okay, yeah. maybe millionaires row at times. Millionaires row at times as well, yeah. So millionaires, not so much yet. It, but, yeah. Even though it's in the deep, we're still casting right up onto the mud, onto the shoreline and then hopping it back out and it's dropping down progressively slow. So a lot of times as you do the hop up, you don't actually whine, you sort of actually free fall to the next level down. So otherwise you'll come short and then get to the bottom. So yeah, and you may even open the bail line back up because it drops. If you're watching the sound, it'll drop from four feet to thirty-four feet in like no time. So yeah, you have to open the bail up drop. and it'll fall all the way down. Yeah, and then hop it up. Take a bit of tackle though. You lose a bit, but you get some really big fish. You do. Caught. It's worth the risk. There's a lot of eighties and even ninety centimeter fish caught this week up there. Lots of seventies, sixties, which we got. Yeah. Got, yeah, we didn't get yeah. many um, big fish, but we caught six over sixty. Yeah, six over yeah. sixty. Mm. Yeah, out so of twenty-two fish, that was a good good effort. Twenty-five yeah. fish actually. Okay. Yeah, you missed a couple of my little ones. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So guys, um, there's plenty of flatties around. The other thing, the flatties too, is to get on the banks around, um, sort of around Pandanus to Millionaires Road on that area, and Gold yeah. Bank's really good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, top of Tank Bank's really good. Yeah, uh, that's the Robbie fishing and Wally's gutter. 100%. Yeah, yeah. So I've both, got both ends of Wally's as well. Yeah, we've I fished up yeah. the pin on Sunday as well, and so did you, Dougie. I you did, fished yeah. with Jack, and I fished yeah. with my old man. We fished on um, Gold Bank for a bit on the first of the run out, throwing like the big hard bodies, like these big athletes around, and um, I got a sixty-six centimeter platy on one of them. Mm. But um, there was a lot of a lot of medium-sized fish as well. So mm. yeah, missed a good one, but yeah. yeah. And on plastics, like I was, I was been using like Seaman's, this sort of stuff here. Yep. Um, yeah. So you were using one of these the other day? Yeah, the little Jackson prawns have been going really good if you work a lure a bit slower. Um, heaps of little legs on there, and um, that little purple colour's been really good. And Dougie, you always bring out the fuse, mate, yeah, but they've just, they're a proven I, provider, mate. Yeah, my two go to, like, I like the pink and the green as well, but white is my go to. Yeah. And then number two is going to be um, oh, purple, purple rain. Purple rain, yeah, fellow. Yeah. Start yeah. singing, but I won't sing the purple rain song. That's it. Keep going on. That's so. it. Yeah, and that, yeah. that lure works really good if the water's quite clear. Yeah. Because it's got a bit of fleck in it, with the mm. sun out, it reflects really good, and um, they just smack them, the dynamite. Yeah, so it's heaps of floaties. So, plenty of time now. Yeah. Uh, there are a few whiting around as well, around, around the um, Gold Bank area. Yeah. Uh, and a few whiting on, up, heading up towards Civic Sands. Yes. And further up towards Russell. Yeah. If you can see the fleck in that. Yeah. But, uh, that's it, guys. Yeah, so a good, good little colour. Yeah, very similar to like scented. motor oil with a fleck in it. Mm. Yeah. While we're on about scent, Dougie. Yeah. Okay. There's been a bit of a scent debacle. However, we have rectified it. We have got the new, the improved, and very good scent. It's actually UV enhanced. Um, mm. it's sax scent. So we've been giving this a bit of a run. Um, and it works really good. Dougie's got my favourite one, the pink one. But um, it's yeah, it's very bright. So it's really good. And, uh, no, that's all right, mate. Take away, done, Taking mate. my secrets, mate. That's yeah. all right. And Dougie, what flavour you got there, mate? Um, if I can see, I can tell you, but I can't see. It's blood one. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it smells really, really good, and um, it's gonna really, really work. I think yeah. um, Clint from Gold Coast River Charters uses a sax scent a fair bit, mm. and um, if you if you guys keep up to social media and um, look at what he catches, he catches a lot. So I'm just going to show the guys one thing on this pink yeah. one here. Just to um, take a little bit out. So what you do, guys, is put a little bit of your finger, like so, okay, and then you got to taste test it. Apparently, well, I reckon the other like one, so. probably like blood worms when they're off, sort of smell, but yeah. <laughs> so you can actually put a little bit on your jig head, okay and enhance, that's a plain jig head of course, but now it's become a pink jig head. 
So you've essentially painted the jig head in a second with scent as well. So that's, it's got smell and colour. That's correct. And obviously I always put a little bit around the hook area. And that's it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you've got colour, you got scent. And you're probably asking what sort of little hooks that are hanging down the front there. Yeah. Well, that's a secret. <laughs> that is. Nah, it's a little uh, dancing jack yeah. assist hook. Um, and they work really good. Yeah, I've been doing that strip about probably eight or ten years now, maybe more. Yeah. Twelve years, I don't you know You just how conveniently long. didn't tell anyone. No, not for about a few years. I didn't write the bloody <laughs> classic at the time. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, your hookup rate is um, around about... Um, I would say like 98%. Yeah, it's tripled. Tripled yeah. or quadrupled on without just using, say, the standard type hook. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, so and lots of tailor around the pin as well. Yeah, we were they, were, up there. they were just exploding the yeah. size of the Olympic pool, I guess. Yeah, for about what half an hour, they didn't move at all. They just kept coming around. But um, we just threw a couple of little medals in there. Yeah. I think Doug, you actually caught more than me. Probably always do that, but anyhow, yeah. The flatty bar. <laughs> flatty. <laughs> I've actually won three and three. Keep, keep talking what you're talking about, mate. Sorry. I did win. <laughs> I did win the flatty comp. I've won three out of three now. But um, yeah. I reckon I'm peaking too early. But the little arm um, anchovies yes. have been really good. Give me a false run, mate. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. False sense of security. <laughs> and then um, the MMD uh, Splash Bronze in that medium size, which is 95. We threw these around um, as well and they smacked them, Doug. It's yeah. so, such the, good. I like, actually had one of these bigger ones because okay, I'm giving me the little ones. Yep. Yeah, the little ones. I'm still fish I know they're like the bigger ones. I don't know, but I threw... Not that, actually, I didn't throw that around. I threw... Oh, that one around. Yeah, yeah. That fellow there, sorry. That one of the guys. And um, I didn't get two tails. I was hoping to get two tails because it's still got the front. And Trevor on the back, I only got single tails on it. But I think we did like, seriously, maybe 30 casts and caught 26 tailors. I was going to say that, yeah. In 30 casts between yeah. us. Um, some were undersized, some were well above size. Yeah. It was a hit and miss, um, but easily uh, you could get uh, quite a few good pairs of tailors. Yeah. More um, hit than miss. And we left them still white water. Yeah. Because we had little flat fishing. Yep. But we just had to have a cast. Just had to get our <laughs> fix. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And so trolling's been not too bad on the yeah, flatties too. Trolling's been good on the flatties. Yep. Um, I, I don't know if you used the little jacks too. Yeah, the little do. jacks are good. Yeah. Um, We've been using those for a few years now. Yeah. Yeah, look, that's good. a little um, trout type colour one. The beauty of little jack is you can troll it in uh, like a metre deep and you can troll it up to about two and a half metres. Even, yeah. even if I drop it back from my sort of standard 10 metres to maybe 20, then I'm fishing that sort of eight foot or 10 foot of water yeah. down and kick the bottom. Easily. Yeah. Drop it back 15 or 20 metres back, yeah. I guess, behind the boat. Yeah. Um, trolling at about 2.2 to about 4.5 k's an hour, depending yeah. on the current and the wind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so plenty, plenty of flatties around. And just when you're trolling, obviously you're trolling on top of the banks around the weed patches, and not just on bare sand. There has to yeah. be weed patches there as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's where you get them on that muddy sort of sandy bottom on the high tide. Yeah. Or on the edges. Once that, that's why you use them in the deep water when the tide drops off and they all run off the banks into the deeper water. You troll on the edge where the drains run out of the, of the sand banks. Yeah. 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 And uh, guys, that's probably it for jumping pins too. Yeah. A few crates around, but it's been a bit quiet. Yeah. No prawns, or the odd ones. Yeah. Um, I think we'll go down towards the, the old shots and the broad water. There's a few, yeah. few flatheads there as well. It's flathead time, so, so it's, sorry about the flathead yeah. stuff. But flathead mania. Used it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so all the shots have been fishing not too bad. There's not a lot of weed there as of this stage. There's a bit of snot weed started, but not heaps. Mm. Um, but it's been fishing quite good, particularly on that last of the run out, as of. Um, like around Crab Island. Crab yeah. Island's been fishing really good. Dougie, Sunday Arvo, you gave it a bit of a Yeah, crab, yeah, right? plenty there at Crab and uh, the banks in front of um, sort of uh, Efren and Sovereign, actually, both areas. Yeah. Um, opposite sort of um, the, I don't know, Bruns Bay, not Bruns Bay, yeah, Browns Bay, sorry. Yeah. In between that area, those banks there has been really good and all the little channels between. Troll, cast, do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, we've been there probably three times this last week and every time we've Got yeah. as many flat as you want. Yeah. A lot of little ones, but some good fifties and the odd sixty as well. Yeah. Um, definitely the older shots is very good. The, the water seems to be really clean, like the jump in compared to broadwater is not as clean as the broadwater. Yeah, broadwater's clean. Clean, yeah. So yeah. the broadwater um, particularly half up run up tide to the top will go right through to nearly Browns Inlet. Yeah. It's clean all the way back to the seaway and further south. 
Uh, but um, once it starts running out, it does because the big tires are dirty, so it gets that sizzle yeah. at the bottom and it rolls yeah. and sort of comes yeah. to the top. Yeah. And the northerly winds that we're going to get in the next couple of days, I dare say it's going to dirty up a bit. Yeah. So to may, be honest, the next couple yeah. of days, I would not worry about going up to the pen. It will be a lot dirtier. I'd just fish down this end. Yeah, probably right. Yeah. Yeah. If it was me. But yeah. if you're in the jump pin area, definitely fish the jump pin area. Definitely fish the jump pin area. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, if you're making the trek up from like Paradise Point or whatever, I'd just head towards the seaway or fish the Yeah, that's right. that's right. Yeah, it takes a lot more to dirty up down here. We're more of a sandy bottom. Up north, more of a muddy bottom. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and yep. there's a Logan River silt coming out yep. as well. Yeah. So guys, um, give that a shot. And um, all I said in the broadwater, I uh, spent a few whiting starting every, the whiting river actually. The whiting on already up the up the Rang River. Yeah. Um, they're anywhere from sort of Benoa right down to the council chambers, or the old council chambers, uh, now called Hotter or Hita. Um, and uh, yeah, afternoon, early morning, uh, worms and yabbies. Well, actually, yeah. work, forget the yabbies. The worms are best. Yeah. As simple as that. The frozen worms yeah. are better than live yabbies. Yeah. Uh, or preserved worms. And um, the surf this week, um, there's been some good dart. Uh, yep. There's been a few good whiting around. Whiting, yeah. Yep. And a few tailor. Tailor. Big tailor, actually. Yeah. Too. Australia has some big tail. Very big. 70 yep. centimetre jobs, you know. Yeah, so spinning metals have been good or um, just yep. pilly fishing if you're into that. Yep, that's right. But, um, yeah. Yep, and um, I was speaking to uh, Liam that works here, my son. Uh, he was with his mates fishing a couple of nights this week in the broadwater and they got some uh, small snapper. <laughs> who hate me for saying this, but in front of the north wall, the wave break um, was just when the tide started running out. They're in the eddy there and just fishing really lightly weighted of pillies. Yeah. yeah. Got some snapper there, so yeah. give that a shot. Yeah. Um, and that's true when it's just open on the broader. That's about it, I think. Yeah. yeah. Back of wave breaks been lots of whiting because obviously yep. they're dredging near there, so they're stirring up the bottom. That stirs up all the whiting. Yep. Definitely get some feed in. But apart from that, Dougie, I think that's... No, that's not it. That's not it. No, it's a bit more. Squid. Oh, that's right. The squid is still on. I've got some more again on the weekend. Um, we eat lots of squid. Uh, but the squid have been good. Um, I've had a few customers that went out there. I saw my mate Mark out there on Saturday. I got a couple, but I only had like 20 minutes of fishing time. So it was out. I had to get my fix. And uh, he was out there. Uh, I'll do the work. He was out there and he got, um, I think, eight. I think I put the picture on. He's holding them in his fingers. Yeah. Um, and that was uh, just sort of round crab. No, yeah. very good size. No, good size too, yeah. yeah the one I got was beauty actually. Yeah. One of the other ones. Yeah. Anyhow, um, definitely worth chasing the squid again, guys. I saw, um, I think Clint from the Fish and Charter, uh, yeah. Brad Smith Charter's got a few as well. Yeah. This week, on a couple of days. So get there and chase them. And uh, no, that's about it. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> fresh water. Um, I see Steve Barrett went up there, got some really good bass. Yeah. Like fat bass. Yeah. And, like, 40s, high 40s. Yeah. Um, so. Trolling deep divers. Yeah, with trolling yeah. divers. Yeah, yeah, he makes his own lures. He does good stuff. Yeah. Uh, we've got plenty of diving lures here, of course. Yeah, that's right. Um, but definitely get the timbers at the back. Once this water starts warming up a little bit, they'll head up the timbers at the back there, on the, particularly on the south side, yeah. much of our side. Get up amongst that timber there and uh, cast uh, soft plastics and spinner baits around the timber. I reckon you'll get a few. Yeah. Or come back out towards the water tower or the western side and, uh, and look for a school of fish. Yeah. As you said, trolls from Stewie or yep. um, or just um, use uh, like um, Rahala jigs like the ice jigs. Yeah. Um and or blades and jigs through. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. We've got a shot. Okay, well that's it. it's true, I think. That's it. That's it. Just a couple of things I want to say too, guys. Um firstly our next seminar is on uh I was first I want to say Stuart, thank you for the good seminar the other night. That's I, right, I, yeah, I thank you. To my good mate's uh, funeral, unfortunately. Uh so thank you, Stuart. That's all right. And um there's one really important thing I want to say, guys, and that is that um, it was five years ago I was in the hospital as we speak with uh, my life to cancer, prostate. So if you're over 45 or you've got any family history, guys, be tough. Go and get a blood test, get a PSA yep. test. Yep. Check yourself out because I didn't know and I'm lucky I'm still here at this stage. <laughs> so go and check it out, please. And don't be shy. Just go and get a blood test. Check your PSA. Make sure your level's okay, and uh, and check with your doctor, okay? Just tell your doctor you want to get a PSA test. Simple as that, blood test. And uh, it could, could help you out. I think yeah. we've helped a few guys out in the last five years, that's for sure. Uh, it's a very important thing. Yeah. Okay, and last thing I want to say is that we've got our next upcoming seminar on the 6th of October. We've just had too many guys asking for it. We're gonna do another deep dropping seminar. We are going to incorporate a little bit of jigging, which Stewie's now smacking the 
blue eyes and stuff on jigs and four hundred yeah. meters. He's going to talk about his little episode, and uh, and I'll tell you how to, how to do it. Yeah. Everything you need to know. Yeah. Taking bookings now on that one. Ready to get with your people. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's it. Doug Bell's Tackle World with Stu and the team here. Um, thank you very much for listening to us again on our our rivalry, which is really good. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you'll see us out in the water over the next few days. Even though it's windy, we don't care where to go. Yeah. Uh, and uh, thank you. Don't forget our Facebook page, our YouTube page, Doug Bell's Fishing Channel. And uh, we'll catch you in the shop here. It's Doug Bell. Number eight centipede drive at Bigger Waters behind Harbour Town off Brisbane Road. That's it. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>